Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi there, can you hear me? What? Just teacher, good night. I'm sorry. Hi there. Uh, I think that I have issues with my microphone. Can you hear me everyone? Yes, no? Mm. Yes, teacher. Okay, how are you? Okay, give me a second, give me a second. <laughs> okay, I changed my microphones. Uh, can you hear me, everyone? Yes, hello? Good evening. Yes, yes. I can hear you. All right, I I can give me a second. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you very well, but now I can. Welcome, welcome to the class, everyone. Hello, hello. Okay, welcome to Intermediate 4. How do you feel? Uh-huh. Excited? Yes? Or not? Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> Excellent, yes. Welcome everybody, my name is Clarissa. I will be your teacher in this intermediate level four, okay? How was the intermediate three? Easy? Yes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little bit? Okay. Well, I can see only two people with the camera on and the rest of you guys, camera on. I want to see you, come on. Teacher, I have a problem. I am driving uh, until for the traffic the rain. Oh, okay, okay, I understand. Be careful, okay? Okay. Very good. Who else and the other ones? Camera on, please. I want to see you, everyone. Okay, I can see Carlos. I can see Rafael. Very good. I can see Pamela. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Okay, everyone. I'm happy to see you here. Now, we are going to start intermediate level four. Okay, so we are going to start. Is it raining in your city, guys? Yes, yes. it's raining. It's raining? Yes, it's raining. It's raining. I yes, see. it's raining okay. too. I can see familiar faces in this group. Aha, uh -huh. nice. Okay. And okay, well, I hope that the weather doesn't affect the connection. Okay, so I hope everything goes well. But remember everyone, you need to keep the camera on, okay? So let's start this level, everybody. I'm going to start sharing the presentation. I'm really happy to see you here, everyone. And let's start because we have a lot of things to do. So I'm going to start sharing the presentation. We are going to see some of the aspects that we need to consider. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes, excellent. Okay, so my name is Clarissa again. Today is June 26. This is our first class in the. The mayor that is interpretation and translation of English. I've been teaching for around five or six years already, uh, working in Insafort. So it's been a long time, but it's great. I really love teaching. So guys, I'm here to help you, okay? If there is a topic that you think that is difficult, so tell me and I will help you with that, okay? 
if there is something that you don't understand, tell me because I will explain again. If you have issues with the platform, also tell me. I'm here to help you, okay? I'm here because I want you to learn the language and I want you to talk in English, okay? So we are going to work together and we are going to practice not only grammar, but also speaking, listening, writing, reading, all the English skills, okay? Now, uh, talking about the, the level, there are some rules that you need to remember. I know that this is something that you already know, but keep in mind this. Remember that you have to keep the camera on during the whole class, not only at the beginning, not only five minutes, but during the full class. I know that some of you are driving and I mean, it's okay. I don't want you to get an accident, but guys, if you are at home, camera on. Remember that these classes are being recorded. Insa for people, they manage the class. They always supervise the class. So if they see you with the camera off, they will say like, mm, why? Why does this person have the camera off? Okay, so I don't want you to get issues with that. Okay, with the camera off, you are like absent. If you have your camera on, I can see you. I can see that you are active. I can see that you can participate. I can see that you are here in the class. All right, so camera on. Also, don't forget to put your full names on Zoom exactly as appears in your Dewey. That is the name that I want to see here in Zoom. Don't forget the attendance, okay? 100% in the attendance. And that includes to connect every single day and connect 120 minutes. That is what the class lasts. Not one hour, no one hour and 30 minutes, 120 is the full class okay um now i know that this is a little bit difficult sometimes but i don't want to listen to spanish okay i know sometimes we don't find the words but we need to try to omit spanish as much as possible okay uh, then guys, remember that you have the platform. You need to complete the evaluations and the homework that you got there. And you have to try to get a good score. Minimum 80%, minimum, okay? But I know that you are responsible. I know that you are a good student. So I know that you will get 100%. Um, so don't forget that we check your scores on the platform every week. So that means that you have to complete every unit every Friday, okay? Every Friday, I'm going to check your progress and see if you have completed your platform. So these are the, clue, uh, the class rules. Do you have any questions so far about it? Any questions about these rules? No, teacher. Are you sure? Nobody? Okay, if you don't have questions, let's see. I have a lot of people with the camera off. So that is the first rule. Only one person told me, uh, Anna says that she, because she's driving and that's okay. And the other ones? Uh-huh. Thank you. I can see now you are turning on. Thank you. So guys, keep it on. Keep the camera on. The other ones? What happens? Okay, now we are going to start today's class, but before starting, I want to know you guys and I want to know a little bit about you. So first, I want to know why you are here. Why you want, I mean, this class, why do you want to learn English? I need volunteers, please. Uh-huh, explain me why. Why do you want to learn the language? What is your purpose? Volunteers? 
Don't be shy. Come on. Volunteers. <laughs> if I don't have volunteers, I'm going to pick people. Why do you learn? I mean, why do you want to learn English? Okay, because nobody, I'm going to pick Pamela because that's the only girl I can see in the camera. <laughs> Hello, Pamela, how are you? Hi, teacher, how are you? I'm great, and you? I'm great, I'm, I'm here again. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, I'm happy to see you again. So tell me, Thank you. why do you want to learn English? Well, teacher, I... I want to keep improving my, my English and, um, to, <clears throat> to get better skills in my job and learn how to communicate more fluently in English. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you, Pamela. Uh-huh. Who else? Voice? Oh my goodness, why are you so shy tonight? Hi teacher, um, because I want to have a better CV. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good reason. Thank you, Elias. Who else? Why do you want to learn English, guys? What is good your evening, motivation? Teacher. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, well, um, the first, my name is Osman Hernandez. Nice. Uh, uh, for me, it, it's important to learn English because uh, in my job, it is, is very common uh, see, to see the, the people speak. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, we had a lot of meeting with, with uh, I don't know how, how I say, Compañero de trabajo. Co-workers. Workers. Co-workers. Uh, uh, in the meeting, they are, are speaking English. Oh. And uh, the truth, I, I, I feel no very good because I, I don't understand very well. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, it's important to me to learn. Yes, that's all. Definitely, it is. Imagine you are using English almost every day, so that's yes. useful, very important. It's, okay. it's necessary. The truth is, it's necessary. Totally, very good. Okay, thanks for sharing. Uh huh. Okay. Who else? Why are you here, guys? Why do you want to learn the language? Uh huh. Who else? Oh my gosh. Okay, if I don't have more volunteers, let me pick someone. The one that is not smiling. Uh -huh. So Nelson, Nelson Ferraza. Hello, Nelson. Hello, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Tell me, why do you want to learn language English? Okay, I'm here because I want to learn English because in my job, uh, my support is from India and they speak English um, very fast. Uh, it's complicated <laughs> to me understand because uh, um, el acento, no sé cómo puedo decir el acento. The accent. Uh, the accent is complicated. It is. In, in the other reason, to improve my knowledge and my skills. That's excellent, pretty good. Thank so, you. That's a good reason, guys. Remember, if you learn the language, you will be more prepared to do your job, to face different challenges, okay? Nice. Okay, thanks for sharing. Now, everybody, we are in the intermediate four. The purpose in this level, well, I have two purpose for you. The number one is to get vocabulary, okay? Because I know that in grammar, I mean, you already know a lot of grammar. Yes or no? Yes? 
You already studied the simple present, the simple past, future. So I don't want to focus a lot in grammar. I want you to get vocabulary and speak. Okay, so we are going to have speaking activities in every single class. So, desde ya quiero mencionarles, desde ya, desde el primer día, guys, y every single day, vamos a tener speaking durante la clase. Así que voy a necesitar que todos participen. Okay, eh, si no me participan, ni modo, voy a ir por nombre, ok, así como ok, Pamela, adelante, dígame usted ah, ok, Elías dígame usted, si yo no tengo volunteers, ni modo, vamos a hacerlo así, eh, por nombre, porque sí, el objetivo de este programa, especialmente en intermedio, es aprendan vocabulario y hablemos ok, así que eh, nada de estar de nerviosos nada de estar de tímidos yo sé que cuesta pero That's why we are here, okay? I'm not angry. I mean, no soy estricta, no soy enojada, guys. Come on. Eh, los voy a regañar si no participan. Ahí sí, right? Pero por equivocarse, no. Así que yo sé que el horario es difícil. I mean, yo sé que ahorita algunos de ustedes van llegando de su trabajo, tienen sus responsabilidades, tienen su familia, tienen muchas cosas que hacer. Y ahorita, así como está el clima, <ríe> es más difícil aún y los entiendo. Son dos horas de 8 a 10 que vamos a estar conectados de lunes a viernes. Y yo sé que muchos de ustedes ya están cansados a esta hora, pero si ustedes se mantienen activos en la clase, participando, pues la clase no se va a sentir tan larga. Right? Si todos participamos y si estamos opinando, entonces la clase va a ser un poquito más amena y la vamos a sentir un poquito más corta y la vamos a disfrutar un poquito más. Pero si no participamos, si nadie habla, si todos estamos así como que no, right? Entonces vamos a sentir que estas dos horas son eternas, right? La idea es que yo no hable tanto. La idea es que ustedes lo hablen, right? Así que eh, desde ya empecemos a siempre participate, participate a lot, ¿ok? No tengamos miedo de dar nuestra opinión. Si no sabemos cómo se dice una palabra, I mean, tell me and I will help you with that, all right? Así que, let's do it. Don't be afraid to make mistakes because here you can make mistakes, ¿ok? Don't be afraid about it. Now, uh, I'm going to check attendance, everybody, when you listen to your names say present, okay? Um, let's see, Ana Lorena Lovato. Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander Cortez. Present teacher. All right. Um, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Okay. Um, Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. All right. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Elias Nestalí Martínez. Present teacher. Very good. Um, Eulis Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Jose Miguel Torres. Jose Miguel Torres. No? Okay. Jose Salvador Bernal. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Eh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present, teacher. Very good. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Very good. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Here. Very good. Os, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Osman. Present. Ah, there you are. Okay, thank you. Eh, Pamela Carolina Molina. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Santiago Roberto Calderón. 
Santiago Roberto? No? Okay. Eh, Wilber, eh, Wilber Alberto Pérez? Wilber? No? Okay. Now, uh, important, I'm going to check attendance twice in the class teacher, at the beginning teacher, excuse, and at the end. Excuse me, teacher. Hello, Carlos. Carlos Dominguez, I'm here. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. I already checked your attendance. No worries. Thank you. Okay. I will check attendance twice in the class, at the beginning and almost at the end. All right. So always when I say your name, say present. If you don't say present, I'm not going to give you the attendance, okay? So attendance is important. Okay, guys, uh, let's see. I can see only two women in this class <laughs> and the rest only boys. Okay, boys, I expect you participate a lot because there are more boys than girls, okay? So do it, let's participate. Now, let me start sharing the presentation again. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes, I can yes. see. Yes, excellent. Yes. Okay, this is the week number one. This is the unit number one. And the first topic that we are going to study is advantages and disadvantages of distribution channels. That is what we are going to be talking right now. So, this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Uh, me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Class objective. At the end of the class, particip participants will be able, able to identify different words relate, related to the distribution channels. Thank you. Very good. So. Um, at the end of the class, the purpose, guys, is that you identify vocabulary, okay? As I mentioned at the beginning, vocabulary and speaking, that's what I want, all right? When we are talking about distribution channels, basically, guys, is sales. We are going to be talking about sales, okay? So we are going to discuss some questions so everybody has to talk for example let me ask you everybody do you like shopping yes no yes I, I like ah. yes I like yes I like everyone <laughs> likes shopping <laughs> and what kind of things do you like to buy tools tools okay clothes. shoes clothes <laughs> Okay. What else? How about food? <laughs> Supermarket. Food. food. That's true. <laughs> okay. What else? My case teacher. Uh, I like uh, the things, technologies. Ah, like devices. devices. Okay. Nice. Now, we are going to discuss these questions in groups. Okay. But before going to the breakout rooms, let's identify vocabulary. We have this word, shoplifting. Have you ever seen that word before? Never. No. Never? Okay, I need a volunteer for reading the number four, please. Volunteer okay, for me? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Shoplifting is when someone takes something from a shop without paying. Uh -huh. How common is the is this crime in your country? How do shops try to prevent shoplifting? Shoplifting. Uh, shoplifting. Okay. okay. Thank you, Nelson. Okay, guys. So according to the definition, shoplifting is take something from a shop without paying. What is that? What do you think? Um, it's like steal. It's like a staller. Um, ah, very good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you a picture and this picture represents shop lifting. Look at this. <laughs> what is he doing? 
is taking a chocolate bar. Ah, do you think that he will pay for this chocolate? I don't think so. <laughs> no, uh, right. How do you say robar, hurtar? Steal. 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 So Steal. that is I'm sorry? It's feel. Steal. I'm going to send it in the chat. Give me a second. Please. Mm -hmm. So, shoplifting in this case is a synony synonym of steal. I already sent it in the chat here on Zoom. So, do you think that shoplifting is a very popular crime in our country? What do you think? Yes or no? Yes, yes always. <laughs> have you ever have you ever seen someone? I mean, yes. Killing things? I, saw, I saw people take something in the supermarket. Oh my gosh! Really? Yes, what did you do? Yes. What did you do? Uh, the truth, teacher. Nothing. <laughs> Sorry. No, I, I didn't. I, I didn't do nothing. Okay. So have you guys, how about you? Have you ever seen someone stealing? Yeah. Because, uh, because the, the these people look very strange. I know. Uh, I mean. very strange. <laughs> uh, you know, you know what, what, uh, what I mean? Yes, of course. It's dangerous. Yes. If you say something, very dangerous. Yes. Yeah, very dangerous. you will be in danger. Nelson, tell us, have you ever seen someone? A thief stole my cell phone. <laughs> oh my gosh. And what do you do? Nothing. <laughs> um, it, um, it was uh, too deep <laughs> Okay. for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So guys, remember that life is more important, right? Than any other device. So yeah always give the cell phone if somebody asks <laughs> now there is a difference between steal and shoplifting okay for example as your classmate mentioned if someone takes your cell phone that is steal if someone go to the shop or to the store that is shoplifting okay that is the difference i don't know if you understand what i mean i'm going to show you some pictures give me a second let me open it up um to explain a little bit better okay look at this picture and you will see the difference look at this this one is chop lifting a person takes something from the store and that person is not going to pay for that product. And steal, steal is this. For example, when you go on the street and someone takes your wallet or when you go on the bus and someone takes your cell phone. So that is the meaning of steal and shoplifting so shoplifting is basically in a store understood yeah yeah i got it okay. i have a, I, a question i get it okay uh, and in spanish urtar y robar have a two different uh, meanings mm -hmm. uh, what about in english in english guys we can divide the different type of robots for example, if you are talking about steal, is in general like robar. If we are talking about in the store, is shoplifting. Si estamos hablando de esos ladrones que roban así como en la billetera, que sacan las cosas de su bolsillo, a eso se les llama pickpocket. Okay? And if someone enter to your house, a eso le decimos rubber. So in English, we have different synonyms for that word depending on what kind of action it is. Depende de qué tipo de robo sea, 
Así se va a decir in English. So, puede variar un poco. Okay? It's the same as in Spanish. Puede variar depending on the context. Got it? Yes? For example, thief. Thank you. Okay, thief is the person who performs the action. So, uh, in Spanish, what is thief? Exactly. Thief is the person. Okay? Got it? Yes? Okay. Any other questions that you may have? No? Ready to speak? Everybody, are you ready to speak? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Thank you. Very good. Okay, listen, I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp's group. And in this moment, we are going to go to the breakup rooms. Okay? And the idea is to discuss these questions with your classmates. For example, you can discuss the question number one. Do you like shopping? Yes, no. And what kind of things you like to shop? The question number two says, um, have you ever spent too much money on something? Yes, no, and what do you buy? And how do you feel about it? So we are going to discuss these questions in groups, okay? So everybody has to talk. I can see a lot of people with the camera off. So guy, I expect to everybody participate. If you are in a group where nobody's talking, let me know so I will switch you to another group. And everybody, don't speak in Spanish. I will be listening to the group, so I don't want to listen to Spanish. You ready? Yes? Yes, the chair. Excellent. Okay, guys. Yes, yes. Very good. Let's go to the breakout rooms. Let's go. Hello. Hello, Elias. Hi. Hey, nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you too. Hi. Hi. Uh, we have the question. Can you share the? Can you see the questions in the group? Yeah. Teacher, can you share us the questions again? Teacher, can you write in the chat the group? Okay, I'm already share the sentences on WhatsApp group. Do you want me to share it here on Zoom? Just to share and, and some teacher. Because in in WhatsApps, um, the the message don't don't it it says waiting message. Ah, okay. If you want, I can share. I can share the image. So you can take a screenshot if you want. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I have it. Okay, excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know if I can share it. So it's not necessary to share it. You can just read the question, your classmate active listening and try to answer, okay? Okay, okay the, very, the first question is, uh, do you like shopping uh, for what kind of things? Well, I like shopping. <laughs> what about you? I and this this weekend I went to the mid-year sale in the in the in the stores. The like um, same man in all, in all stores, and I. 
I buy um, I both clothes and a and a perfume. So I I like shopping. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> well, um, I like shopping, <laughs> but what, not, what kind of things? Not, not much. Um, sometimes one, three uh, times in a year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And what about food? Do you like? I like. I like uh, buying uh -huh. food. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, in that case, yeah, I love, <laughs> I love uh, uh, buying food. And this month, I, I, I go to Wendy's, um, Santa Burguesa, oh, um, Dynasty Chinese food. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, the, the <laughs> all type of food. <laughs> teacher. Hi there. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, the picture can. Um, can you... I can see the picture in the chat. No worries. I already sent it here on Zoom too. But if you want, I can share the screen and you can take a screenshot if you want to. Please. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I captured the screen now. Yeah. You got it? Yes. Excellent, yeah. very good. Okay, guys, let's start discussing the questions, please. Go ahead. Thank, Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, I will share my screen, that is. Um, can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, do you like shopping? Yes, I like uh, go to the shopping. <laughs> Always. The problem is the money. <laughs> the, uh, the money. money. <laughs> yeah. For what kinds uh, of things? Of things. So much money. Yes, I have. What do you buy, Carlos? What? What do you buy when you uh, spend? Okay. Uh, let me see. Do you have the questions? For the moment, no picture. Okay, no worries. I can send the. Uh, I can share the picture, and you can take a screenshot if you want. Okay. Can you okay. see it? Um, I, I start the question. You, uh, can take a, you can take a screenshot if you want, so you can keep it. I, I get I get it. Okay, you got it? Yes? Yes, I get Thanks. it. Very good, thank it's you. Sure. It, it is, I get it, I got it. Oh, I get it is in simple present, but in this case, if you already did it, it's in past, I got it. In, in this moment, I get it the picture. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where? Okay, Jose. Uh, uh, do you like shopping? If you ask, is if your answer is yes. For what kinds of thing? Mm, yes, yes, I, I, I do. Mm -hmm. I like, I, I like buy shoes. Ah, okay, very good. And you? Uh, I, yes, I, I like go out. I like go out to shopping, but. Uh, I like buy food. <laughs> food. Yes. 
And where, what about, hey, here it was uh, other. Edwin? Edwin, are you there? Okay. Yes, in my case, and I like shopping. And I like to buy clothes and shoes. And sometimes I like to go uh, to a restaurant and buy food. Okay, thanks, Edwin. Uh, the second question. Uh, Jose, have you ever spent too much money? What do you buy? How do you feel after wars? People, are you there? Uh -huh. Jose, nice. ha have you ever spent too much money? No. Never? Have you ever buy, uh, bought something very expensive? Uh, one, one. Una vez, one time. One? Vez, oh, Only yes. once. One. Only once. Mm -hmm. And what I, do you buy? I, I, I bought a laptop for my wife in your birthday. In her birthday. In her birthday. Okay. It was expensive. Excuse me? Was it expensive? Yes. Okay. And how did you feel when you buy it? <laughs> I am I am happy. You felt because happy? Of, yeah. <laughs> huh? Say the truth, I mean. Say, say the truth. <laughs> but no, I, I am happy. <laughs> okay, it was for his <laughs> wife, so yeah. In my, in my case, I, I remember uh, last year uh, I went to buy uh something uh this day was the bill uh wife builder what wife birthday birthday birthday, was birthday. Uh -huh. and i went with my wife to the mall uh i i asked her i asked her what 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 do you want and she told me ah, I, I would like uh shoes okay no problem i say no problem <laughs> When inside the zapateria, the store, the st when, when, uh, inside the store, hey, my wife uh, started uh, shoes. Uh, oh uh, my god, a lot of, a lot of shoes. <laughs> and take one pair. Uh -huh. he, he, she, she likes these shoes. Uh, she, 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 she told me, This I like so much. <laughs> okay, problem. It's, it's your, it's your. Okay, when I when I went to buy to 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 pay the the, the shoes, the sales sales salesman, ¿cómo, cómo uh -huh. se dice? The sailor. The sailor uh, uh, told me it's one hundred ten dollars. No. What? <laughs> I, I feel asombrado. Uh, <laughs> but I but uh, uh, suddenly I, I around to see my wife very happy. Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 Thanks. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's a nice this, story. This, this experience was real. Was real. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Elwin, how about you? Have you ever bought something very expensive? Edwin, are you there? Yes, I have a bad connection, but I try. Yes, I have. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, yes, I have. Uh, the last year I went to the uh, 
uh, start. And I like to pair of shoes. And I tried it, but when I, when I was going to pay, um, I had to pay uh, $200 a lot. No way. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> How did you feel? Yeah, uh, at the moment, uh, I feel good, but after <laughs> I did my account and I just want to cry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was very expensive. Okay. Interesting. Guys, you are speaking in English. Do you see? Very good job. You can continue with the next questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, Osma, what about you? Think about an expensive thing that you bought. What was it worth what you paid? You pay for it. Um, my case, I the buy the my cars. Wow. I I um in the last year in December, I okay. upgraded the new the the other cars. Um, in comparison, our other cars, them a little a little expensive <laughs> because the the sales uh review the amortization for because the the new the pay new car the because the pay new cars. Mm -hmm. and this is my expensive, and order is the pay my my house. For what, example, what brand uh, is your car? I'm sorry. What brand is your car? I don't know. Is correct? Ah, uh, this is for for SK. Oh, oh, oh yeah. that's a big yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Ah. <laughs> really? <laughs> what year? We have a winner in this group. <laughs> yeah. What year is the car? <laughs> it's a. Uh, Twelve uh seventy. Twelve uh, twenty six seven. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> because the uh, yeah. uh, night rise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm an order the uh, very expensive that the uh, and choose, I like to choose and different. Okay. Yeah. What brand of shoes? Who's my favorite is ASIC, tennis ASIC. <laughs> a person take a, uh. <laughs> a thing in a, in a shop and, yeah. and in it, the store. And he don't pay. It is it's just so, like, so a, like yeah, a for me uh, for the pay. It is one. It's a only pays on a uh, no pay. For in, for me, right. it's shop shoplifting. Is when the person uh, you 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 don't saw the person when the. Robert. but uh, if you uh, to see the person is installed and uh, I think teacher hello hi there I mistake uh, happens guys uh, don't complicate so much Remember that shoplifting is when someone is in the store, okay? In the store, yes. Exactly. Ah, okay. Yes. Alguien que está robando de una tienda, a eso se le llama shoplifting, okay? Yes. Si lo vieron, okay. no lo vieron, I mean, it doesn't matter, but it's shoplifting. Ah, okay. Ah. Now, 
si voy en el bus y alguien me roba, ¿sería shoplifting? Yes or no? No. 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 Exactly. No. no. Shop... It's not in a store. Exactly. It's in a store. Ah, the, okay. No pay. Ajá, for the product. For, no pay the product. Uh -huh. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Thank y, you. Uh, yes, and this has the, the same meaning with the scam. I'm sorry? The scam is just the same meaning. Uh, for example, so to speak. Oh, not really, guys, because scam, it's more in business. Like when you say, um, como una estafa, that is a scam. So it's more like you have your business, you make some business with some other people, pero lo estafaron. Ahí is different. That is a scam. Okay? Like what the government do, <laughs> for example, uh, they do a scam, right? The government. Okay. <laughs> Teacher. Um, yes? Teacher, uh, 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 if, if I uh, drink... I drink water in the supermarket. Uh, I am, I not pay the 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 drink water. <laughs> it's a shop. Is is a is shoplifting. Is shoplifting. Okay. I mean, just because you didn't pay for the product. Bueno, de la todo, compañeros, ¿qué le pasó? <laughs> Uy, uh, oh my goodness. No, I I I am see uh, I am see the the person. <laughs> ah, but you don't, it, it wasn't you. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 listen. No fue él, él vio, but he wasn't. <laughs> for example, for example. Ah, okay. <laughs> for example, example, and the shopping listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pretty good. Okay, guys, continue, please. Thank you. Uh, okay. How common is the crime in your country? In Santa Ana, is in common, but uh, what about your ciudad? In country, Boris, is, where, where do you live, uh, Boris? I am, I am live in the in Lopango. Uh, and the Lopango is common. The shoplifting, or not? Uh, uh, I think yes I because think some, no. someone <laughs> take a bar, take a <laughs> bottle of uh, water. I, yeah, I am. I am see a lot of a lot of time last. Uh, bueno, hace hace tiempo si lo veía, pero hoy hoy no no. Okay, uh, the one we can write. No, no, no. Uh, isn't this crime isn't common in our country? Could be, could be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but uh, I think... Uh, a lot of crime in the last year, second ago, the, the crime is less than the last year. No one. No? Yeah. In theory. <laughs> <laughs> in theory. Yes. <laughs> Um, how do uh, shops try to prevent shoplifting? But uh, when you see uh, that uh, there is people you know, that I steal something about the shopping, never you see. What? I Nunca he visto see. a persona joven I use glasses. en la tienda. He visto personas jóvenes robando. Uh, yeah, always. Uh -huh. Y no es un criminal, o sea. Para no son like criminales the... roban. 
Señoras. How do you say uh, en persona que despensa roba por familiar? Impulso. What? What? I don't know. I'm listening to Spanish. What happens, boys? No. Ah. When? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Oh, no. I'm listening, señora, joven, que roba, my goodness. Los, ah, los, voy a, okay. los voy a regresar al basic. Ajá. Basic one. Welcome to basic one again. Okay. okay, guys, did you finish all the questions? Number five. Okay, go to the number five. If you were to open your own shop, what kind of things would you like to sell? Mm, interesting question. Mm, Rafa? For you? That's a good question. Yeah. Mm, maybe food. Oh, yeah, it's delicious. Uh -huh. yeah. But what kind of food? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fast food, homemade Mexican food. food is a good idea. Mm, okay. Or yeah. seafood. So I prefer ah seafood. Seafood is the seafood. saying of like the mariscos. Seafood. Yes, it's the yeah. same. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Mm, okay. Good. Okay. For me, is mm -hmm. is is a is an idea. Uh, would listen. Okay. Um, food fat uh, because uh, fried and in this country the business is the food <laughs> yeah food. Ah. oops um, <laughs> hot dog <laughs> food food yeah yeah. Okay. Yes. And you, Hosman? Yeah, and the food. And seafood is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Nelson? Mm, for me, yeah, food, uh, seafood, Mexican food, and another thing. Only the food. Maybe. Proposals. Maybe um, cell phones. Mm. <laughs> or or gross <laughs> all right time's up let's go back to the main room we are going to wait for everyone to go back from the breakout rooms hello teacher Yo, i don't know because the, when I connecting to my cell phone, uh, when I try to uh, go to the uh, breaker rooms, uh -huh. uh, the connection record me to the uh, class. Hello, principal. To the main room. To the main room. Okay. Are you driving? I actually, I entering my house and I uh, oh my oh my PC. Ah, okay now listen to me guys si de repente les sucede que no lograron un nivel uh, al breakout rooms eh, pueden salir de la clase y vuelvan a entrar porque al volver a entrar yo los puedo eh, reasignar a un breakout room ok Así que si en algún momento les sucede algo así, siempre salgan y vuelvan a entrar para que yo los pueda volver a conectar a un breakout room. Nice tip. Okay. Now, interesting answers. I was listening. Uh -huh. How was the practice? Did your classmates speak? Yes or no? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, could you answer all the questions? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Did you speak in Spanish? 
A few. No. No. <laughs> no. A few teachers. A few. Oh. Hero. Look, Hero. Look. At least. What is Spanish? <laughs> yeah. No one was speaking Spanish. Um, Come on. Suspicious. At least Osman is honest because he said that a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, listen to me. The idea, guys, is to practice speaking. Okay? Eh, listen, yo sé que algunos sí pueden practicar speaking. Tal vez en su trabajo tienen que usar el inglés y ni modo. Pero yo sé que algunos no. Yo sé que algunos aquí en la clase es el único ratito que van a tener para practicar el inglés. Y lastimosamente la clase es bien corta. O sea, solo son dos horas. Y de esas dos horas, ¿cuánto tiempo realmente pasamos hablando en inglés? Así que por eso vamos a meterle bastante al speaking y esos espacios que tengamos para practicarlo, aprovechémoslo. Me gustó que alguno de ustedes era como que, hey, ¿cómo digo tal cosa? Y entre ustedes mismos estaban ayudando. And that's the idea, guys. I mean, esto no es una competencia de que, ay, solo yo voy a aprender. No, we are a team. ¿Qué pasa si la mitad del grupo reprueba? ¿Qué va a pasar con la otra mitad? Lo más probable es que van a tener que ver cómo los unen a otros grupos para que puedan continuar. Right? Pero eso significa un desbalance, cambiar, eh, esperar a que se abra otro grupo. Así que no, empujemos todos. Right? The idea is that everybody learns. Now, excellent job. I like that you were practicing. Ahora sí, ya los veo con más confianza. Right? Mm -hmm. No more nervous. I like that. Now, let me see some details and let me ask you if the sentences are correct or not. For example, Look at the first sentence. I like buy. This is something that I was listening uh, to in some groups. I like buy. Can I say that? I like buy. Is that correct? No. Yes. Yes or no? Hmm. When you are when you are talking about present? No. Maybe yes, I like bow. Mm, so you mean like this? I like bow. There are oh. two verbs. Join. Yes. Mm. Ah, look. It doesn't matter if you are talking in present or in past. The like point, two right? Exactly. Okay. Two verbs. I have, I have two verbs together. The yeah. rule in English says that you cannot put two verbs together. Okay? I like to buy it. Exactly. Only with the clause two or ing. Exactly. Form. You need to separate the verbs. So you have two options. You can say, I like to buy. Oops. Or you can say, I like buying. Okay. Or use the preposition to or add ing. The ones that you prefer. But you need to separate the verbs. Actually, guys, both, both are commons. What happens is that here is the ones that you prefer. If you feel that it's easier to add the preposition to, do it. If you feel that now I'm going to add ing, okay, do it. Both are commons, both are correct. This is up to you, the ones that you prefer. Okay. Okay. And, and the meaning is equal. It's exactly the same. Yes. Okay. In the first one is, me gusta comprar. In the second one is, me gusta comprar. So the meaning is the same. Okay. Look at the next one. I am leave. I am leaving San Salvador, for example. Can I say that? I am leave. No. Yes. I am leaving. Ah. Because ah. Exactly. Listen, if you say leave. just I am leave, basically, ¿qué estoy diciendo? Yo estoy vivir. Yo estoy vivir en San Salvador. Does it make sense? No, right? You have two options. You can say I'm leaving. Yo estoy viviendo en San Salvador or Just, I live in San Salvador. Yo vivo en San Salvador. So, you decide, I am living 
or I leave. But I am leave, never. Now, what is the pronunciation of this word? But, okay? But, uh, I was listening to some people saying boat. But si me dicen boat, me están diciendo bote in English. ¿Cuál es el pasado de comprar? But. 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 Mm -hmm. Can I say he don't? He doesn't. Ah, very doesn't. good. He doesn't. Third person. Okay, I was listening to Spanish hace tiempo. <laughs> How can I say that? Long time. Ah, very good. Long you can time. say long time or long time. long time ago, the ones that you prefer. Can I say there is people? Uh, there are. There are. Ah, people there are. is in plural. Plural. Oh, so yes. we had to say there. There are people. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. So you see little details, little by little, we are going to be improving those little details. Any questions so far? I have a question. Yes, go ahead. What is the meaning of the word? Word, W-O-R-T-H. Like this, of word? See? Sí. Oh, <laughs> in this case, guys, word is like valer la pena. So, for example, if I ask you, what is the most expensive thing that you buy? ¿Qué es lo más caro que han comprado? What do you think? The house. A house? Okay. What else? A car. A car. Okay. So, was it worth it? Si yo le pregunto, was it worth it? It means, si valió la pena. So, yes. solo la palabra worth. Se puede traducir como valor, but I mean, talking about money, right? No el valor de una persona, sino worth money. Pero si le pregunto como, was it worth it? Es si valió la pena. Ok. Was it worth it? So, was it worth it to buy a house? Yes. Definitely. Was yeah. it worth it to buy shoes? Every cent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So that is the meaning for word. Any other questions that you may have? No? Okay. Now, guys, that we already talked, we were talking about shopping, we were talking about buy things, it's expensive, spending money. Now, those things are related to the topics that we are going to study. Right now, we are going to check some vocabulary okay the first word that we are going to learn is retail outlet retail. what is oh. that what do you think look at the picture retail outlets what is that any idea yeah. No idea, teacher. Is little is, chores? It's basically, guys, a store. Okay? Retail outlets is like, like when we say in Spanish, un minorista, right? Una persona que vende cosas, no al por mayor, right? Mm -hmm. Sino like in a store. Okay? If you go to a store, can you tell me some stores that they are retail outlets? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Remember, hablamos de minoristas. No venden al por mayor, sino que venden como objects, but individual. What do you think? Can you give me examples? Retail outlets? The supermarket. In the supermarket, yes. What else? Store cell phone. Ah, very good. Imagine you pharmacy. go in the pharmacy, the cell phone stores. Yes, those are 
retail. The shoe store. Shoe store. Imagine, ustedes no van a una zapatería y les dicen, quiero 100 pares de este mismo. <laughs> All right. So those are examples of retail outlets. Is it clear? Yes? Yes. Then we have direct selling. What do you think? What is that? It's just a delivery. delivery. Okay. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you go to Pizza Hut, okay? You get to the restaurant and you ask a pizza. In the same place, you receive the pizza. That means direct selling. La compra es directa, sí o no? Yes. Yes. You receive yeah. the product automatically. Now, look at the next picture. E-commerce. What is that? What do you think? Look at the picture. It's shopping in the online. Well. Ah, very online. good. When you buy online, do you buy online? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ah, very good. So that is e-commerce. And then we have wholesale. wholesale. What is wholesale? Wholesale. Oh, hey. When the, when the uh, sale for unit only for a big quantity. Exactly. Wholesale is the opposite of retail outlets. Okay. So they sell, but in a big amount. Okay. Imagine in the first one, you can buy one pair of shoes. In the wholesales, you can buy 100 pairs of shoes. Is it clear the difference between the retail outlets and the wholesale? Wholesale, wholesale. Clear? Mayor. Yeah, exactly. Price Mart, for example. <laughs> Price Mart is an example of wholesale. Very good. Is it clear, the vocabulary? Yes? Yes. 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 Excellent. Very good. Did you copy the vocabulary? Yes. No yet. Please okay. give me a minute. Copy, copy, guys. If you want to take a screenshot, do it. If you want to write it, do it. Just let me know when you finish. Done. Excellent, really good. Okay, now we are going to use different vocabulary today. Every new word, write it down. Okay, we are going to talk about distribution channels. So what is that? Let's analyze the meaning of distribution channels. I need a volunteer please for reading the definition. Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Distribution channels. It's the network of businesses or intermediaries through which a good or service passes until it reaches the final buyer or the end consumer. Thank you. So, in few words, distribution channels, guys, is basically all the process that the product has to pass in order to get to the customer. Imagine that this is you. You are the customer, okay? What is all the process that the product has to face until reach you? Imagine that you want to buy one pair of shoes. ¿Cuál es el primer paso para que lo, el par de zapatos llegue a ustedes? What is the first step? Okay, first. Manufacturing. The, ah, the manufacturer. They create the shoes. When the manufacturer finished, what is the next step? 
the wholesaler. What the is the meaning of wholesaler? Do you remember? He's a mayorista. Correct. After the wholesaler, what is the next step? Retailer. Correct. Oh. And that is the last one. And then you get a customer. The a pair customer. Of shoes. Exactly. So when we are talking about distribution channels, all of these ones are channels. How many distribution channels do I have here in this picture? Three. Three, exactly. The first distribution channel is the manufacturer. Then I have the wholesaler. Then I have the retailer. Okay. So distribution channels is the process of the product until it gets to the customer. Is it clear the definition for distribution channels? Yes. ¿Se entiende yes. esa definición? Yes. yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Uh, I need a volunteer, please, for reading the second paragraph. Me. Yes. Distribution channels can include wall sellers, retailers, wholesalers, retailers, distributors, and even the internet. Exactly. We have different types of distribution channels. Even internet is a distribution channels because I mean, nowadays people buy online. So in this class, we are going to check different distribution channels. Let's start with the first one, but keeping in mind the vocabulary, okay? We are going to have a reading and in the reading, we are going to find these words. So guys, let's analyze the vocabulary. What is the meaning of entrepreneur? Have you ever seen that word? No, teacher. No. First time I see that word. <laughs> okay, anyone? What is the meaning for entrepreneur? Extra points for the one who tell me. In Spanish. Uh... May, uh, I think when, when uh, people start uh, a business. Exactly, that's it, very good. Entrepreneur is a person who starts a business, okay? Uh, do you know someone who starts a business? Yes? Conocen a alguien que sea un entrepreneur? In my case, yes. I, I have a lot of uh, friends. Uh, they are uh, an entrepreneur. Ah, How do you say? Entrepreneur. <laughs> entrepreneur. Okay. Yes, I, I, I know uh, many people. That's great. Excellent. Guys, would you like to be entrepreneur? Yes. Yes. It would be. Yes, teacher. Uh, what kind of business would you like to have? We were talking about a, uh, a girl store mm -hmm. with Kevin, uh, Carlos, and Boris. <laughs> ah, very good. Okay. And you guys, what kind of business would you like to have? Uh, I, I like, uh, I, I don't know how, how to say, but uh, uh, bienes y raíces. Okay, do you know how to say that, guys? Yes, this this business is, is pretty good. Do you think that? Kevin has a business, uh, business. Which is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Mm, uh, I would like a business um, things technologies, but uh, e-commerce. Okay, sounds good. 
I was listening to some of your classmates that they said that food is a good business. What do you think? Do you agree? Yes or no? Selling food? Making food? food. food. Uh -huh. food. A good business. Yeah, it is. Now, if you want to start a new business, you need a consultant. consultant. What is that? What is a consultant? Uh, we, we, we need to investigate. Yes. So consultant is a person. It's a person, okay. It's the person who gives instructions advice. for uh -huh. uh -huh. to give the instruction to provide knowledge and say, hey, you have to do this and this and this, or don't do this and this and this. So consultant is basically an advisor understood yes yes good what is the meaning of through mm -hmm. what is through maybe it's a people who think or he planning on the the process or the business hmm. all right but in this case through well it's not more like a person but it's more like a preposition imagine that well i'm going to share a, um imagine that this is you <laughs> okay and you want to get here but there are a lot of obstacles what do you need to do you need to walk through the obstacles so what is through something like a través, de. a través exactly that is the meaning of through got it yes yeah okay what is the meaning of me neither? Yo um, tampoco. Exactly. Imagine if I say, guys, I don't like sushi. What me would you neither. say? Me neither. neither. I don't like pupusas with ketchup. Yo. Uh -huh, and you? <laughs> me neither. Me neither. Pupusas with ketchup, do you like it? Me neither. All no. right, me neither. No. Very good. Okay, what is the meaning of partnership? Uh, it's a person. Uh, when you help with the business. But... Ah. It's a colleague, right? Colleague, yes. Okay. Exactly. It's a person that is next to you working together. Then retailer store. Well, retailer store is the same as oops, retail outlets. ¿Qué dijimos que era retail outlet? A shop. It's a store. Uh -huh. So what is the meaning of retailer store? It's exactly yeah, I'm in the list, exactly it's the same. Very good. If I say uh let's give a try, what is that? Probemos. Exactly. Like, hey, let's do it. Let's give an opportunity. And the last one, what is the meaning of success? Exitoso. Exactly. When you get your goals, when Exitoso. you get your objectives. Pretty good. Is it clear the vocabulary? Yes, yes teacher. Yeah. Keeping my vocabulary because what is the tomorrow mean? I can ask. Let's, teacher, uh -huh. uh, 
What is let's give a try? Oh, let's give a try. It's like give an opportunity. For oh. example, imagine that you want to eat in a, re in a new restaurant. Okay? okay. You okay. never okay. go there. So you say, hey, let's give a try to this restaurant. Maybe it's good. Okay, so let's give a try. Let's give an opportunity. Okay. All right. Did you copy the vocabulary? Yes. Yes. Excellent. No teacher. No. Yeah. Give me a second, please. Okay. Copy. No worries. Copy, guys. Remember, during the week or tomorrow, I can ask you the vocabulary. So I expect you memorize it. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Uh, can you repeat the pronunciation? Uh, which one? All of them? All. Okay. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Consultant. Consultant. This one is like through. 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 Put your tongue between your teeth. Like when you say thank you, so through. Teaching. Me neither. How do you, how do you say? How do you say verdad? Sorry. How do you say verdad? Truth. What is the difference? Truth. Oh, the difference, guys, is in this one we have the letter R at the beginning. If I say this, oops, truth. We don't have R in the end. It's just truth. True. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, next one is me neither. Me, me neither. Neither. Me neither. Then partnership. 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 Retailer store. Retailer store. Store. Let's give a try. Let's, Let's give, a give a try and success. 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 Okay. Now that we check the vocabulary, let's have a reading activity. This conversation is on your manuals. If you have your manuals, you can go to the page number nine. Okay. Let me open up the reading part. Well, in this case, guys, we have two people. We have Ellie and Joel. They are talking about options to distribute their products, okay? I need two volunteers for reading. Who wants to read? Me, teacher. Okay, Anna, who else? Me, teacher. Oh, uh, who say me? Okay, I see Pamela, right? Okay. Yes. Anna, you will be Ellie. Pamela, you will be Joel. Go ahead. Okay. I am thinking about selling physical copies of our of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it's a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Thank you. Okay, what is the business about? What is the business that they that they want to start? It's a how you training program. Very good. Mm -hmm. And what is the distribution channels that they are using to sell that product? In the directly, online store. Look. Directly to the consumer 
or, that, or oh okay. in this case mm -hmm. they sell the product yes directly to the customer mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. through internet okay mm -hmm. so remember online stores are very popular right now so if you see in this short paragraph we check mm -hmm. the vocabulary do they have experience in this kind of business? Not at all. They only buy online stores, so they need to improve the, uh, uh, they need improve their the, the business. Ah, exactly. Look, they say, hey, I don't have any experience. And the other says, me neither. So if they don't have experience, what do they need? They need a consultant. Correct. They need a consultant who provides the knowledge, the advice. Excellent job. Is it clear, the conversation? Yes, it is clear. Now, imagine, guys, that I want to have my business. Imagine that I want to sell pupusas. Okay? What do you think? What is the best distribution channel? Can I use online store? Hmm, what do you think? Maybe retail store. Ah, very good. The best distribution channel will be a retail store. Excellent. So that is what we are going to identify today which is the best distribution channels for each business, okay? Now, let's hear, I have some vocabulary, everyone. So, I want you to match these definitions with the correct word. For example, the number one, I need a volunteer for reading, the number one. Uh-huh. Me, me uh, uh, yes? uh, okay. I don't know who say me first. <laughs> Ana Lorena. <laughs> okay, Ana and Boris, you can read the number two. Ana, go ahead. Okay, I intermediary entity in the distribution channel that buy in bulk and sell to reseller. Thank you. Now let's analyze this. It says an intermediary that's Look, buys in a bulk. What is the meaning of bulk? This. A lot of quantities. A lot, exactly. It's huge. So, hmm, what do you think? What is the correct word for that one? Well, is that sorry. a retailer? No, it is a. I heard someone. Hmm. Option three. Option three. One, two, three. Distributor. Wholesaler, yes. maybe. I see it's wholesaler. Wholesaler? No. Wholesaler. 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 Both. Yes. Well, <laughs> okay. Wholesalers. Okay, let's keep in mind, let's keep in mind. Later, we are going to see the answers. If you think that is wholesaler, okay, you have to write number one here, okay? Uh, Boris, can you read the number two? An, an agent who supplies goods to a store and other business that sold to consumer. Mm, okay, guys, imagine this is a person, right? Who supplies goods to the store? It's a person who has the product and says, okay, take the product, then go to another store and gives more product. Distributor. Distributor? Distributor. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Retailer? Or retailer? Mm. Yeah. What do you think? Distributor. Distributor. Okay, if you think 
If you think that is manufacturer representative. Manufacturer representative. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, if you think that is distributor, you have to write number two. If no. you think that is not, if you think that no, I think that is distributor or manufacturer representative, okay, write number two here. Okay, the ones that you prefer. Later, we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. Um, I need a volunteer, please, for reading the number three. Me, yeah, teacher. Thank you, go ahead. A person or business that sells goods to the public in small quantities for use. Ah, okay. Look, it's a person that sells, but in small quantities. Retailer. Retailer. Are you sure? I agree with yeah. retailer. Yes. All right. So if you think that is retailer, okay, you have to write number three here. Okay, the ones that you prefer. Number four, volunteer for reading, please. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. A professional who provides expert advice in a particular area, such as distribution logistics. Ah, okay, look at this. It's an expert. It's a consultant. A consultant? Yeah. A consultant. Yes. Mm, okay. And the last one, volunteer for reading. An individual agency or company that sells uh, manufacturers products to, to sell and retail customers. All right. Okay, look, they sell manufacturer products. What is that? Manufacturer. Okay. So do you have the answers already? Yes. Uh-huh. Do you have the answers? Cada palabra vale dos puntos. Veamos si pasaron el exam. Number one, what is the number one? Retailer, consultant, distributor, wholesaler, or manufacturer representative? For me, number one is option three. Distributor. Distributor, for me. Okay, everyone, how about you? Number one? No, teacher is wholesaler. Wholesaler? Some wholesaler. of you say distributor. Wholesaler. What number one wholesaler. Okay. The number one is wholesaler. So if you put that answer is correct. Now number two. What is the number two? Distributor. Distributor? Distributor. Distributor. Distributor, yes, very good, that's correct. Number three, a person or business that sells in small quantities? Taylor. 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 Excellent, pretty good. Number four, an expert. Consultant. Consultant. Easy, pretty good job, excellent. And the last one, right? Manufacturer Factors product. Manufacturer representative. Representative. Very good job. Excellent. Uh -huh. Did you pass the exam? Yes? Yes. Ah, very yes. good. Very good. Now, good job. Ethan, during the class, we are going to have these type of exercises. I know that sometimes reading is difficult, but look, the key is to identify the keywords. It's not necessary to understand every single word. No, the thing is to find the keywords. Encuentren las palabras claves. No es necesario que entendamos todo el paragraph. It is not necessary to understand cada una de las palabras. No, you just have to check the keywords. Got it? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Very good job. Okay, now, before continue, guys, uh, did you copy? 
you can take a screenshot if you want. So you can keep the definitions and the vocabulary. Copy classmate, this is the hard work. <laughs> Copy guys, this can help you. Let me know when you finish. You got it? Yes? Okay, finish, everybody? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, now before continue, guys, uh, remember I'm going to check attendance again. So um, when you listen to your names, say present, okay? Um, let's start with Ana Lorena. Present teacher. Excellent. Boris Alexander. Present teacher. All right. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Ernesto. Present. Okay. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Elias Nestalí. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Ulises Torres. No? Okay. Um, Jose Miguel Torres. Okay. Jose Salvador Bernal. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Holzman Atilio. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Kevin Alfredo. Kevin. Okay. Nelson Alberto. Present. All right. Osman Enrique. Present. Okay. Uh, Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Very good. Rafael Alexander. I'm here, teacher. All right. Santiago Roberto. No? And Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's continue. Remember, I will be checking attendance uh, at the beginning of the class and almost at the end. Okay. Now, always talking about distribution channels, let's see some vocabulary. And this is reading practice. Again, it is not necessary to understand every single word, but the key word. Okay, look at this vocabulary. I have after sales service. I have guarantee period, retail, wholesale, supplier, competitor. Hmm. So imagine if I say a company or a person that provides a particular type of product. Hmm, what do you think? What is supplier? that? Supplier. Supplier. Supplier, are you sure? Yeah. Everybody, do you agree? Yes, I agree. Uh, what is and look at this, that is the one. So a person who provides particular product is a supplier. supplier. Excellent. I need a volunteer please for reading the number two. Tell advice or free reprise that you'll get after you buy a product. Hmm, what is that guys? What is warranty, warranty period? Warranty period. Warranty period. Warranty period. Are you sure? Yeah. Mm, but it doesn't say anything about time. Uh, After sales service. After sales service. Are you sure? So okay. which one is better, after sales service or guaranteed period? 
What after sales video? service. <laughs> after sales service. Okay, yeah. okay. My question wrong. In this case, guys, actually the correct one is what after sales you? service. That is the <laughs> one. Okay, what is the meaning of after sales service? What is that? What do you think? With your own words. Maybe servicio de mantenimiento. Ah, okay. Imperio. Do you agree, everyone? What imperio? Okay. Basically, support. guys, exactly. This is like Product support. Yes. If you want to translate it, this is like um servicio post venta, right? That they are going to give you support. In case that you buy a product and the product doesn't work properly, so they will repair the product. Now, I need a volunteer for reading the number three. Me. Yes. A person who tries to be more successful than you. Ah, what is that? Competitor. 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 Do you have competitors at work? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. I am the best. <laughs> ah, very humble. <laughs> okay. Do you think that it's good to have competitors? Yes. Why? Yes. Mm. Or improve the skills, ah, for example. Very good. Mm. To improve. Very good. Exactly. Okay. Number four, volunteer for reading, please. The selling of goods to business usually in the large quantities. 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 Okay, in large, the large quantities. quantities. What is that? Wholesale. 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 Perfect. Now you memorize the vocabulary. Excellent job. Number five, volunteer for reading. Me, teacher. Yes. Time uh, when the seller repairs or replaces a product free of charge. Mm, pay attention. Now it says time. Time, yeah. Oh, what a what a period. Period. Ah, very good. So can you tell me which products uh, have guaranteed period? Refrigerator. Electronic products. Ah, very good. Electronic devices or a refrigerator, for example. Have you ever used the guarantee period? Never. Never? No. No? Not Nobody? Yet. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Now, the last one, volunteer for reading. Me, teacher. Yes. The selling of goods to the public, usually through shops. Very good. What is that? Retail. 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 Easy. So, is it clear this vocabulary? Yes? Yes, teacher. Ready for the exam? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, that's the attitude. Okay. Here I have different sentences, and we are going to find out which word fixes correctly in the different spaces. For example, Lantex, this is a proper name, okay? Imagine that Lantex is a name. Okay, Lantex never delivers on time. So we have to look for another... Supplier. Hmm. Supplier, are you sure? After sell service. After sales service, are you sure? Okay, write in your notebook the answer that you consider is the correct one, okay? If you think that it's after sales service, okay, write it down. If you think that it's supplier, okay, write it down. Okay, I need a volunteer, please, for reading the number two. Our products are available in department stores and other outlets. Okay. Retail outlets. Retail outlets, are you sure? 
Yeah. <laughs> and you guys, the rest of you, what do you think? Yes. Retail. Are you sure? If you think that is retail, okay, write it down, write it down. Number three, volunteer for reading. Uh -huh. Number three. Sales are very good, but our main competitors, <laughs> that's a bit, no, competitors sales are also going up very quickly. Mm. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Our yeah, main competitor, Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. If you think that is competitor, write it down, write it down. Number four, volunteer for reading. Ten percent discount in a two years warranty period. That's a very good offer. Hmm, guaranteed period. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> okay. Always. Always. Okay. If you think that is guaranteed period, okay, write it down. Write it down. Number five, volunteer. Only one, please. We are in the trade and sell our clothes to retailers and fashion house. Wholesale. Houses. Houses. Sorry. What is that? Wholesale. 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 Are you sure? Wholesale. Yes, wholesale. Okay. If you think that is wholesale, write it down. Write it down. Okay. And the last one, volunteer for reading. To me, teacher. Yes. If you have <laughs> a problem with the machine, just contact our after Sally service department. Okay, after sales service department, what do you think, guys? I agree. With I you. agree. I agree. Are Lauren. you sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's see if you have the correct answers. Number one, suppliers. If you wrote supplier, your answer is correct. In the number two, is retail. If you wrote that one, it's correct. In the number three is competitors. If you wrote that one, that's correct. Next, guaranteed period. Okay, if you wrote that one, it's correct. Next, wholesale. If you wrote that one, you got a point. And the last one, after sales service. How many correct answers did you have, guys? All uh, of them? All of them, oh, my Ooh. goodness. Uh -huh. point. Did you pass the exam? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Very good job. Very good job. Easy or difficult? What do you think? Rot to intermediate. Bye. So, so <laughs> All right. Now, how many words have you learned today? Uh -huh. How many? Six. Five words. Six, five. <laughs> okay. Afterwards, entrepreneur, uh, partnership. Ah, okay. Listen, tomorrow I will ask you the vocabulary. So if you don't remember, what? you will be in trouble. Yeah? No. Why not? Come on. Okay, listen. Now we have five minutes. I think that we are not going to be able to complete the next activity. But when we are talking about distribution channels, one of the channels that is becoming very popular is internet. Again, did you buy an internet? Yes? Yes. 
Yes. Okay, I need a volunteer, please, for reading the question. Me, teacher. Yes. When, wa when was the last time you purchased something online? Why did you buy it online and not in a real shop? All right. Okay, guys, think about it. What was the last time you buy something or that you bought something online? When? Maybe. When? Maybe last when year. There's no, when there's no, enough time. Ah, okay. When you don't have enough time. Last year. What else? When was the last time that you bought something online? Last two months. Last month. Okay. And what yesterday. You... <laughs> yesterday. Okay. And what what did you buy? I buy the supermarket. Okay. And you guys, what did you buy? Clothes. Clothes. Okay. Do you think that is a good idea to buy online? Uh, no, really, always is not a good idea. Sometimes the people uh, don't have a real feature about the product. Mm -hmm. and it's a problem. Okay. To buy online. Interesting. Everybody, uh, if you buy online, why do you prefer to buy online? and not in a real shop. Why? Mm -hmm. mm, for example, the case when the product of, the product that what I need uh, is not available in the country. Ah, uh, okay. You have uh, to buy it online. Yeah. You don't have options, that's true. And you guys, why do you maybe, prefer online instead of real shop? Maybe for the schedule for or to the buy. Ah, okay. When you don't have a lot of free time, <laughs> you have to buy online. That's true. Okay, the next one. I need a volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Yes. Do you prefer? to shop online or in person and why? Mm -hmm. What do you think, guys? Do you prefer to buy online or do you prefer to go to the store and buy in the store? What do you think? I think that Next. for some products, mm -hmm. I prefer to buy uh, in person. Okay. And you guys? Uh, in, yeah, it depends. In my case. Oh, sorry. Okay, Osman and then Pamela. Go ahead. Um, I would like uh, shop online, but uh, I prefer buy in, in, in a person because ah. I can touch the product, uh, I can see it, I can evaluate the quality. Ah, very good. That's uh, important. That's all. And you, Pamela? Yes, teacher. It depends what type of, of thing I want to buy. If it's clothes or shoes, I prefer to go in person because I want to see it, I want to touch it. Yeah. But maybe if it's another thing, maybe I can shop online. Hmm, that's interesting. Pretty good. Okay, guys, this is something that we are going to continue talking tomorrow because unfortunately we don't have more time. Okay, so uh, before leaving, remember, al final de cada clase va a haber un ganador o una ganadora que siempre se va a quedar, okay? Alrededor de 5 o 10 minutos para tener una conversation, right? Esto es para los que se portaron mal. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. And al final de la clase va a haber un, uno que se quede, ¿ok? Un castigado. No, no es castigado, es un winner, ¿ok? Así que el winner de esta noche es 
Ana Lorena, congratulations. Congratulations, Ana. <laughs> Great. Okay. Great. Ana se queda, mm -hmm. los demás, los demás sí, ya pueden ir. ¿eh? La, sí. okay, teacher. So guys, have a good night. Thank you, go, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Ana Lorena. <laughs> Only Lore, only Lore. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye guys. <laughs> good night. <laughs> good night. Good night. Okay, Ana or Lorena? What do you prefer? Uh, Lorena. Lorena. Okay, Lorena. How are you? I'm fine. How was the traffic? Or free ball. I drive to San Salvador and. From San Salvador to Lourdes, mm -hmm. and I take the Los Chorros. Oh my God. And when it's raining, it's difficult. It's a chaos. Yes. How much time did it take? <laughs> Sometimes I spend two hours two for hours? maybe uh, 10 kilometers. Yes. It's a lot of time. Oh yes. my goodness. Well, okay, I don't want to take a lot of time. This little meeting is just to talk a little bit about the class, to clarify some questions that you may have about the program, about the class, or a question in general that you may have. So this is your moment. <laughs> so okay. tell me. Um, maybe uh, only a comment. <laughs> I really like uh, your class because oh, it's very you. interactive. Uh, I I study English because I want to improve my pronunciation or my speak. Mm -hmm. And the way uh, that you give the class is uh, for uh, improve this skill is specific, specific. Specific? Specific for this reason I really like. Ah, oh, that's great. Well, I'm glad you like it. And yeah, that's what I want. Because remember that that is the purpose here in the intermediate level. In the mm -hmm. basic level is like to learn grammar, to learn the structure, but mm -hmm. here is more to speak. Como pruebo yo que ustedes ya pueden? That you speak, right? Mm -hmm. So in this class, basically eh, in every single class, I will need you to participate. I will need you to talk a lot. So that is the idea for this uh, class. That is what I'm going to try to do in every single class. So always be ready to participate. <laughs> I try to participate always. Yes, I love that. Excellent. So uh, how about the vocabulary? Did you feel it difficult or easy? Yes, so, so maybe uh, I know the, uh, the vocabulary in Spanish, but maybe the translate I some words I don't know. Yeah, and that is something that we are going to practice too. We are going to try to learn more vocabulary. The more vocabulary that you learned, the more that you will be able to speak. So that's why I always recommend every single new word write it down mm -hmm. and of course try to memorize i know it's difficult right it's like i ah, how can i memorize all of this word but little by little okay yes. the more you practice the more that you will memorize so mm -hmm. for example right now what is the difference between retail store and wholesaler the quantity of product uh, that uh, they buy ah very good if I sell a lot of products, wholesaler. Ah, if I sell in a small amount, retailers. Easy, you see? And it is not necessary to memorize like wholesaler. No, it's just because you were practicing here in the mm -hmm. class. If you practice, you memorize the vocabulary. That is the secret. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Pretty good. Do you have any other question or any other comment? I think that no. Okay. Now, listen, you practice a lot. I like that you participate. So keep going. I expect that from you in every single class. And don't forget to start working on the platform. I will okay. be checking the progress individually every week. 
So uh, try to work little by little every single day. So at the end of the week, you can finish the unit. Okay. Okay. Pretty okay. good. Perfect. Okay. That's all for tonight. Thank you so much for staying. Have a good night. See you okay. Tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye -bye. See you.